Western Five Kingdom classification was made by R. H. Whittaker. So when he formed this group, everybody started asking, on what basis? Give us proof. On what basis you have made this group? Is there any base or randomly you have made the group? So he has explained the criteria of formation of five kingdom classification. So the topic which we are going to study is criteria of five kingdom classification. The first criteria used by R.H. Whittaker was self-organization. By the word cell organization, he means the type of cell. What are the two types of cell we have studied? Prokaryotic and eukaryotic. So on the basis of prokaryotic and eukaryotic, he has formed the group. Next, he went to body level. After cellular organization, he explained the second criteria that is body organization. Obviously, body is made up of cell. But the body can be divided into two types on the basis of number of cells present. So, if there is one cell present, then it is called as unicellular organism. When there are many cells present, then the body is called as multicellular body. The third criteria used by R.H. Whittaker was mode of nutrition. Speaking about mode of nutrition, the meaning is how to obtain food. Mode means way, way of obtaining food. So how does organism obtain food? They can either prepare food, those are called as autotrophs. Or they can obtain their food from other organism and these are called as heterotrophs. Speaking about autotrophs, auto means self, trophs means dependent. So autotrophic means self-dependent. Hetero means other, trophic means dependent, dependent on other. In case of autotrophic, there can be two procedures. One is photosynthesis and second is chemosynthesis. Speaking about photosynthesis, in this case, light is the important factor. Speaking about chemosynthesis, in this case, specific chemicals are the important factor for making food. Now, heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are divided into four categories. The first category is parasitic, second is saprophytic, third is holozoic and the fourth one is symbiosis. What is parasitic? Parasitic is the organism who enters body of another organism, obtain their nutrients and cause harm to the body. For example, bacterial infection. Second is saprophytic. 
Saprophytic means absorbing the nutrient by the body surface. This is mostly carried out by fungi. Next is Holozoic. Holozoic is a process in which the food is completely taken in and that occurs in our case that is human being. Last one is symbiosis. Symbiosis means mutual understanding. Two organisms come in association. One will help the other in one way and other will help the first one in other way. So they are helping each other. It means they are having which kind of relationship? Symbiosis relationship. Example is lichens. Lichens are made up of algae and fungi. Algae prepare food for fungi and fungi give body support to algae. So this is a one more of nutrition. The fourth criteria is ecological lifestyle. What is ecological lifestyle now? In ecosystem, what is our position? First of all, what are the positions present in ecosystem? The positions which are present in ecosystem is producer, consumer and decomposer. So, out of this three, which one are we? That decides the ecological lifestyle. Plants are producers, bacteria and some fungi are decomposer and rest all are consumer in our ecosystem. The last criteria is phylogenetic relationship. Now what does phylogenetic mean? Phylogenetic means evolutionary connection. Evolutionary connection means who has come first, then second, then third, then fourth. So according to this, the evolution pattern decided he has made the five kingdom. According to him, Monera is the first to come on earth. Then came the protista getting evolved from Monera. Next is fungi which got evolved from protista and this is how the five kingdom had been formed. So phylogenetic means evolutionary connection. Each kingdom has some kind of connection with another kingdom. Thank you very much students.